Howard Stern, the popular U.S. radio mouth, brought his invective to Canada in 1997. On his first show, he called francophones peckerheads and scumbags. To Stern's shock, Canadians didn't love it. They complained, oversight bodies investigated, and soon he was off the air here. He was honestly perplexed. I'm an entertainer, he said. He meant people listen to him to hear what stupid things he'll say next. In reality, he's quite a sensitive guy, but he plays an offensive idiot on air. He's like a wrestling villain, like Hitman Hart, doing a role. Americans understand that split, and I think it's why they couldn't get enough Donald Trump at first. They wanted to hear what he'd say next. It had nothing to do with choosing a president, it was entertainment. When things got politically more serious, he started being judged differently. Now, he looks like Stern after the Canadians reacted. I don't think it means he'll lose. It depends on how many U.S. voters decide to distinguish between entertaining and governing. It's not always easy when you live inside a huge entertainment political complex like theirs. Ronald Reagan was president after he was a film star, and even he had trouble recalling what actually happened in World War II versus what he'd seen in Hollywood movies like A Wing and a Prayer. For the Toronto Star, I'm Rick Salutin.